Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to the latest Hedera JavaScript tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to get started with the new Hedera consensus service, which is a novel publish subscribe architecture for blockchain applications or traditional applications. It can be integrated into whatever you're building. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, I'm in Visual Studio Code. And just like in our other tutorials, I have the Hashgraph SDK already installed at version 1.1.8. You might want to make sure that you're running the same version for this example. Going back to our index.js file, I'll start off by including all of the packages that we're going to use in this example. By requiring .env to be configured, that'll allow us to have access to our environment variables that we'll use in this example. After this, I'll include all of the modules from the Hedera Hashgraph JavaScript SDK that we're going to need. All right, well, that was quite a lot of modules, but I'll walk you through what each of these actually do when I use them in this code. So don't worry too, too much about them yet. Now that we've imported all the modules that we're going to need, let's write an asynchronous function that will build this exa example demo that we're going to use today. So within our main function, we're going to start using our, the Hedera consensus service to build this publish subscribe architecture that we're looking for. There's a variety of moving parts here, so let's kind of take it one step at a time. Uh, the first thing that we should probably do is configure our client connection. That'll be this JavaScript module that we have here. So I'll start off by instantiating a client for the test network and then using my account ID and private key to configure my client connection. Awesome, and you can see here that I have a client configured for the test network you could you know, just as easily configure this for mainnet here if you were ready to deploy to the main network. But just for this example, I'll, I'll stay on the test network. The next thing that we're going to do is create a new consensus service topic. So a consensus service topic can be thought of as a private channel for messages, or you can leave it open and allow anyone to write messages to that channel or topic. And so in this way, you can build really cool uh, message queues, event streaming applications, and so many other fun things. And so all that I'm doing here is building a new consensus topic create transaction and executing it with my client that I just configured in the last uh, step. That client will pay for all the fees and generate the transaction and all the nice things behind the scenes. After we've ran this consensus uh, topic create transaction, we'll need to get the receipt of that transaction, which should contain the new topic ID if the transaction was successful. And again, my client will be the one executing this and sending it to the test network. Assuming that this transaction receipt was successfully generated, it will contain our topic ID. So let's grab that one now. Awesome. 
Awesome. And this should be all the code that we need to be able to create a new topic with the Hedera consensus service. So I'm going to log this now just to see that we're all set up so far. And if I want to be able to run this example and test out our consensus topic create, I'll need to call that main asynchronous function that we just wrote. As you can see, I'm only using the client and the consensus topic create transaction modules so far. Once I've confirmed that this implementation is working, I will move on to using these other modules. So by opening a new terminal, we should be able to run node index.js, which should execute this script. And we will see whether or not we were, oh, we were. So we now have a new topic on the test network at this uh, address. 30 dot, or 3316. So now we know that this block of code is all set up properly. We're able to build our client connection and create new topics on the consensus service. The next thing that we're going to want to do is create our publish uh, code. So code that will publish new messages into this topic. And to do that, we'll use the consensus message submit transaction here. Um, for this example, I'm just going to maybe send 10 messages to this consensus service topic just to show you how easy it is to push messages into this infrastructure. So we'll start off with a for loop. And so when we're building the consensus submit message transaction, there's a few specifications or parameters that we need to define. Uh, the most important of which is probably the topic ID. And so set topic ID, we're going to use the new topic ID that we just dynamically created. After defining which topic we would like to publish these messages to, we will specify the actual messages that we would like to send over the consensus service. And so we'll say hello HCS from message, just whatever iteration in our for loop that we're at. And so those are the only two required fields, fields for this API telling the consensus message submit transaction which topic it would like to publish this message to and populating the contents of that message. So now we should be able to execute this. And again, we'll use our client connection to send this to the test network. After this message has gone to Hedera, we can get a receipt for it just like all other transactions on Hedera. So I will do that and log it to the console just so that we can make sure that all these consensus submit transactions are going through properly. Awesome. And so we're getting the receipt of each of these HCS messages and then logging it to the console. And so just like we did before, we should be able to pause now and test our implementation to make sure that we're both able to create a new topic as well as publish messages to that topic. So by going back into my terminal and running node index.js, we should again see a new topic created on the test network. And then we should see 10 consecutive messages being published to this new topic. So you can see we're at consensus topic sequence number six. Now we're at seven, eight, and nine. 
So that's awesome. We have now successfully published all 10 of our messages into this new consensus service topic, which confirms that this implementation of our code is also working properly. And so if you're building publish subscribe architectures or infrastructure, you would know that we're missing one final piece of this puzzle, which is the actual subscription. So ways that we can receive messages after they have reached consensus on Hedera that we can use in our applications, whether it's as an event message service or an event streaming service, uh, an event queue or any type of uh, application that needs well-defined ordering. And so the way that we do this is by implementing the last two modules from our JavaScript SDK. The mirror client is a lot like our client here, but instead of connecting to the public Hedera test network, this mirror client will connect to a Hedera mirror node. And with that mirror client, we will subscribe to the specific topic that we would want with this mirror consensus topic query here. So let's do that now and make sure that we have the rest of our publish subscribe architecture working. So you're going to do this by running a new mirror uh, consensus topic query. Actually, I forgot to establish our mirror client. So I will do that now. So const mirror, my mirror client. And so in this case, I'm going to use the available mirror node API from Hedera, but there are a variety of other services offering this, including Dragonglass and Kabuto to date. Um, so this is hcs.testnet. And so now that we have our mirror client connected or pointing to the API that we would like to use, we can start building this mirror consensus topic query. So just like our other transactions here, there's a few parameters that we must define here. One of which is the topic ID. And so we set the topic ID to the topic ID that we just created. That way we're telling the mirror node what channel we would like to listen to. After telling it which channel or topic we would like to listen to, we can subscribe. And we'll subscribe using my mirror client. And then as part of that subscription, we should get messages back. And when we receive these messages, all that we're going to do is log them to the console. There's also a chance though that this uh, subscription to the mirror topic uh, results in an error. So we should also include some basic error handling here. Uh, in this case, we're just going to log the errors just like we would with the successful messages. Awesome, and I will clean this up a little bit to make it more readable. Let's break it into different lines here. And so this should be all that you need for your mirror consensus topic query. You can see that one of the required fields is the topic ID. And then from there, you can subscribe using your mirror client connection. If we receive a successful message, we will print it out to the console. And similarly, if we receive an error, we will print that out to the console as well. 
So with this code, we should be able to do everything required in our publish subscribe architecture. However, there might be one thing that we want to include, which is a way to sleep or delay our execution in between all of these processes. So I'm going to write a very basic sleep function here that you can use in your example as well. And so all this is going to do is pass in the amount of milliseconds that you would like to sleep for, and then it will set a timeout for that number of milliseconds and return a promise. So we might want to use this sleep function in between creating our consensus service topic and attempting to create a subscription to that topic in our mirror node. By waiting just a few seconds in between here, we're going to be able to have a stronger guarantee that our mirror node is aware of this new consensus service topic. Um, in this example, I'll just sleep for maybe five seconds, uh, but depending on you know, how many transactions are going through the network and a variety of other factors, you may need to wait longer or shorter depending on what's going on. And so that should be everything that we need to build out this entire publish subscribe architecture with this basic example. You'll create a new topic and subscribe to that topic from a mirror node. You'll publish 10 messages to that topic. And after Hedera has reached consensus and put them in a full order with cryptographic timestamps and running hashes associated with them, you'll be able to subs uh, receive those messages from our subscription. So let's go back to our terminal and try to run this full example. I'm going to clear my terminal just so it looks a little cleaner. And I will run this again with node index.js. And so we should see our new topic created. And then it should wait five seconds before creating that consensus uh, topic query. And you'll see that we have our 10 messages being published to this topic. And asynchronously, we will see the messages coming in from the Hedera mirror node. If you just give it a few more seconds, you'll be able to see all of the output here and all of the responses from this publish subscribe architecture. Awesome. And so you can see here we have a lot of output. We have the new topic that was created. You can see when we send the messages, one, two, three, four. And then you can see when we actually get these messages back from the mirror node here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So congratulations, this should be everything that it takes to get started building publish subscribe applications on the new Hedera consensus service. Unlike traditional event streaming services or message queues, you have the cryptographic and decentralized infrastructure guarantees of the entire Hedera network. This is going to enable some radically new types of services and applications to be built. So hopefully you were able to follow along with this tutorial, but please let me know if you have any issues in the comments below. Yeah.